All right, I think we are recording. So, uh, what we have for you, you guys today is a game that we actually made and designed called Sailor's Warning. Um, it's a modular game. It's uh, designed to be a modern-day-ish classic sort of game. It's a Navy strategy game. Um, so, um, so, how you play... Um, I'll try to remember everything, but I I've got all the rules that we writ wrote down. Um, to hopefully make this go smoothly, but you know, we're not exactly the best at YouTube or videography. So, how you play is each player uh, gets to start out with one of these tiles. So, these are um, basically what this does is it creates a modular um, seascape space. So, um, what you do is you set down the, the boards into whatever configuration you want. You can do an even square. But line up your lines um, along your pattern. And each player uh, gets one of these boards to set down. So you start with the first player. Whoever gets dealt um, the number one board gets to do it. And then on the back side, there's a blank side. This is our test, test one, so it's a little bit beat up. But... Um, but, so what you do is you uh, set the boards down, and then each player sets up their pieces on their individual board. So, um, they, um, taking turns to do so, but, and then you set them up inside each of the squares. So, uh, this is, uh, so we're going to say that this is the anchor board, and then this is the uh, ship wheel board for now. Okay, and then uh, what you do, um, so right now this is uh, just a four player game, but we're going to make expansion packs, um, so that way, that have different boards and different pieces, so that way it can be up to an eight player game eventually. So, that's coming, um, it's going to have different islands and everything on there. Islands are going to come, uh, I'll explain islands in a second. But, so, uh, first, first you set up the boards and you set up your pieces. Um, and then, what you do, uh, the, main, the main objective of the game is to capture all your opponent's pieces. Uh, so, the way you move is, um, say, um, uh, this piece is here. Um, you can move a knight's move in any direction, or you can move one spot in any direction. So, this piece can move here, there, um there and it can move here um we'll explain landing on islands in a second as well or there or it can move any one of the spaces um one space at least one space yes um so and then so that that's movement it can move any direction one space now um this one uh Okay, so one thing you can't do is you can't move through islands. So like this piece, say, um, can't move uh, through the island like that uh, to um, get to there. But it can follow along the here, do like a reverse knight move. So re basically, you, uh, you can do a knight's move, but it has to be an open ocean spot um, for it to move. So, um, so the next thing, so, uh, if your main objective is to capture all your opponent's pieces, you have to know how to capture, right? So we're going to focus on, uh, these really fast. So, um, basically how you capture is you flank, um, you, you surround the, uh, a piece on two sides, um, and capture. So like this, so say it's the anchor's turn. They move like that and capture that piece in the middle um, there. Now, if it was something like this, um, where the, the anchor piece moves here, even though it's sandwiched between these two, this piece is not captured because it's not on the orthogonal direction or something like that. It's not, not linear, more or less. So, uh, diagonals don't count for capture, um, but if were to move like this, then that counts. That one's captured. So, 
Um, and then, so that, that is the primary mode of capture. Now, there is a secondary mode of capture um, that uh, we've only, uh, in one of our, one of our test games, um, we only had one person uh, really, really dive into doing that too much. But um, basically what it is, is a ramming capture. So say this piece is here um, and they feel like that there's no other good position for them to, uh, no other good way for them to capture this piece. What they can do is they can ram it. So basically they land on it, they turn their piece over and then this becomes a new obstacle, like a new island that people have to maneuver around. Um, you can't land on that square anymore because it's considered a shipwreck. Yep. So, um, and th there are other alternative uh, ways of playing that include more shipwrecks and things like that, but we're just going to go over the regular game uh, here today. So, let me look through my notes really fast. Um, so, another way you can capture is uh, surrounding a piece. So, um, or surround uh, if there's like two pieces right here, um, you can surround... If you surround the piece, pieces more or less, then you capture all of them at the same time, more or less. Um, and then uh, something else with capture. So let's say you got the skull and crossbones guy here, you got an anchor guy here, um, and then the sh the wheel guy can move here. And if he chooses to, he can be like, hey, um, trident guy, you want to capture the skull guy? And then if they say yes, you can capture together. So that makes for interesting, uh, you can do partnerships, you can do all sorts of things, but this is very much a pirate game. So if the next turn, say there was another uh, uh, trident guy there, the uh, wheel, uh, the, uh, the tridents can take the wheel guy the next turn, no problems. So. You can also say no. If you're the will person and you um, move here, you could choose not to capture the skull and crossbones piece. Yeah, it's not obligatory. Oblig ob obligatory. I can speak sometimes. Sorry, guys. Um, it's not obligatory to capture if um, if they're opposing pieces um, or sandwiching or flanking. Okay. All right. So that goes over. Uh, basic capture. All right. So, next, uh, we've got islands. Islands, um, basically, they make things more interesting. You can play the whole game with the on the zero sides of the boards, um, which is just open ocean. This is our most damaged one right now. This is, this is our, our play, play one. So, uh, you can find these online at our Etsy shop, by the way. This whole game is online our, on our Etsy shop. Um, so islands are what really make this interesting because they create obstacles and they create like right, right here. This is a funnel point that, uh, people have to maneuver through, um, things like that. So, uh, so what you do with islands. Okay. So, um, we're going to, um, bring our trident guy over again. Okay. So, um, he can move a knight's move here. And he can stay either in the open ocean or he can choose to land his ship. If he lands his ship, he kind of centers it on where he landed. Um, and that is, it takes one full move to land the ship. And then also it takes one full move to get off the island. And then they can only move one space off. Okay, now why do you want to control um, islands? Or why do you want to land an island? So, say this guy is right here. Um... He controls these three areas of ocean, say. So, in other words, we're at, in, in effect, he's got his pay, uh, piece here, here, and here, all at the same time because he's landed on the island. So, if another anchor piece moves right here, he can capture this skull piece right here. So, that makes islands kind of very powerful in some ways. Um, but uh, it kind of does lock you in place. So, no. apologies for our dog. No. He 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 saw somebody no. out the back. We we have a baseball field out back, so he gets no. gets anxious sometimes. So, uh, 
Thank you, Julia. My wife is amazing. Everyone give her a round of applause. Woo! You're ridiculous. Hey, thanks. All right, so, so because islands are powerful, you also have to be able to take uh, things from the island. So we're going to still leave our trident person there. So how do you uh, capture a ship that is on that island? So what you have to do is you have to land somewhere else on the island. So we're going to say this guy moves here. Actually, we're going to say this guy's here, and he lands here, right? Okay. Now, to capture what he has to, uh, what the skull people have to, uh, skull ships, uh, skull ship players, goodness, I'm just fumbling all over words today. Sorry, guys. Um, what he has to do is, instead of flanking, he kind of replaces uh, the, the other ship that's on the island. But in doing so, both these two are landed. So they're kind of out of the game for a full turn. They have to take a full move to get off the island. So, so yeah. Um, all right, so that is um, islands, why islands are important, and how to capture on islands. All right. Um, did I miss anything I can think of? Okay, so that, those are all the basic rules. Okay, so, and then the last basic rule is eventually um, you guys get capturing and you guys, everyone loses pieces, things like that. So there's only a few, few um, pieces on the board, uh, right? So it's really easy to, especially if you're using knight moves, to just keep running away, right? So, um, so to avoid this, if there hasn't been uh, a few captures within so many turns, um, what one of the players can uh, call to initiate what is called a hurricane. So what a hurricane does is it um, removes... Um, so uh, let, let me just read this because I made it very specific. Okay, so to initiate a hurricane, one player using his turn announces to the group, I call upon Poseidon to bring forth a hurricane. Um, any other player who is in agreement will say, I also call call upon Poseidon, uh, Poseidon and his wrath. Uh, once two players are in agreement, the initiator sacrifices one of the own ships. So let's say um, the uh, wheels, the ship wheel decides to initiate the hurricane. So they would sacrifice one of their own ships. Um, let's see. I just lost my place. Let's, um, uh, sacrifice one of his own ships and removes the board with the least number of pieces. So with this setup, this is the board with the least number of pieces. So um, this one would be removed from play. And then uh, now this is the, um, this is the whole uh, game boards that you can do. And then you can initiate another hurricane after it's been so many turns without capture. Um, so, and then if there's, if there's like, Say there's like uh, three ships or four ships on a board, um, half of those would be destroyed by initiating their hurricane if the with the board that is removed. So, so yeah, um, that's that's just uh, that's to kind of limit gameplay. That's to kind of force players together to just try to capture each other because that's the objective of the game. So to win, um, the primary rule is to uh, capture all your opponent's ships or effectively destroy their fleet. So. Um, if, let's say, um, it's just, uh, skulls and tridents left, and, um, the skulls capture one of the tridents, but there's one trident left, this trident can't capture any of the other skulls without sacrificing itself. Um, and even if it does, then it would have no ships left. So effectively, the skulls would win the game. When there's one piece left, effectively the skulls and winning game now if there were some ships uh, uh ship some uh, ship wheels left and there was a trident left over here the trident can still play and capture in partnership with one of the other team um, one of the other players um but effectively it can't can no longer win but it hasn't lost yet it hasn't completely died it can still participate in the game so yeah um but yeah, and then uh, we've got a handful of our alternative rules that are included in the rule set. Um, so with with this um, with this gameplay, there um, with this game that we've created, um, it comes with uh, four, uh, the first four boards, and then four sets of ten pieces. 
Um, each player starts with 10 pieces. Um, and then a set of rules and then bags to contain them all. And we are also designing um, a nice wood box um, to, um, uh, so that way you guys can keep, keep it all, all together a little bit nicer instead of uh, just cloth bags. But what, this is what we've got right now. Um, if you're interested in the game, we will include a link in the description uh, below. Um, and yeah, let us know if you have any questions. Uh, we are really excited about this game. Um, our friends have loved it, um, and we think that you guys will love it too. So, have anything else to say? I don't think so. All right, well, I think that's it then. Well, good luck, um, and we will probably do a random play video uh, showing us and some friends playing this game sometime soon. Yep. So, we'll be on the lookout for that. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, we mostly cover... cover uh, ancient games, medieval games, and how to play those. Uh, but we are designing some of our own, too, just for kicks and giggles. So, all right. Well, thanks, you guys. Bye. Take care.